this exam week, I am exhausted. Let's walk and talk. It's the last week of my mental health rotation. I'm back on the same ward that I've been on for three weeks now. Goals of this week are to get signed off by the consultant. They give you a bit of feedback, give you an overall mark for how you've performed. And then I have exams on Thursday and Friday. Sort of a mixture of multiple choice exams and also live OSCEs. I have... <laughs> I have a lot of study left to go. This week is going to be a grind. We'll see how it goes. We'll start with the good news. The consultant signed me off for the rotation. Yay! So I'm officially finished psych, although I do still have a few more days of placement. All the paperwork side of things is done. On to the thing that's a little bit more interesting. I was having a conversation with the registrar about how I'm really interested in critical care. And then he said, I actually have an ED psych shift today. And usually if you're on ED as a psychiatrist, you're either rostered to the morning, so like nine till one, or the afternoon, one till five. With it being about 10.30 at this point, I assumed he meant that he was rostered for the one till five. And I was like, that sounds amazing. Like, I'd love to come and shadow you. And then he turned around and he's like, oh, okay, great. So the evening shift starts at five. And, <laughs> and I was like, oh, fabulous. Cool, great, yeah, okay, uh, see you then. <sighs> I don't know if it's like a full night shift or if it's just like an evening shift, so like five to one or whatever. <sighs> I've committed myself to a night shift in ED psych the week of my exams when I'm already exhausted and I just, I'm excited, don't get me wrong, it's gonna be amazing, but I'm just thinking, is this, is this really gonna be the best work-life balance? But you know what, we're gonna roll with it because if there's one rule that I abide by in med and any other med students watching this, I would highly recommend you do the same. Say yes to every and any opportunity when a doctor offers it to you. It's just after four. I've got about 40 minutes until I have to be in the ED. I've just got my life back together, packed my bag again, and I think I'm gonna go and buy some food for us to snack on tonight in between patients. Oh my God, finally done. It's nine o'clock, heading home. We had maybe only like four or five patients, I think. It was interesting to see sort of the more acute side of the presentation rather than already on the ward and medicated. Don't get me wrong, I'm ridiculously tired, but I always feel so much more invigorated after an ED shift. I don't know why. Maybe it's just my calling. Surprise, surprise, it's raining. I'm hoping for a nice quick morning this morning, and then I've got to do some groceries, and then I have to study. I'm officially done with my psych rotation. So exciting. There were a few times there where I was like, God, will this ever end? Another couple of times where I was like, oh, I don't want this to end. But regardless of how I was feeling slash am feeling, it's done. Nine weeks of psych. Now I just have to study really hard for a few days, pass my exams, and I'm another step closer to being a doctor. It's so surreal. Like, I don't feel like I should be a doctor next year. Some parts of me feel like I've been at med school forever, but it genuinely also feels like it's been about six months. It's no time to celebrate yet though, because I do have to pass these exams first, so. Just had a little pit stop, had some Thai for lunch, and now I'm actually gonna go and do my groceries and go home and study. It's Wednesday now, we're on our way to the library. worst vlogger yesterday. I literally just got home and had a shower, got into comfy clothes and studied the entire afternoon. So you didn't miss anything.
Cruise and we're finally on our way home. Good morning. It's exam day. It's just before 10. I've spent a few hours already this morning just finishing up re-watching all of my lectures from this rotation. And now that's done, I've got a couple of things left on my to-do list from yesterday. Otherwise, I think I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> I think I'm good. So I have two hours left until my exam. I have pretty much everything ticked off that I want ticked off on my to-do list. All I have left to do is just to review my notes one last time and then I'm gonna make sure I have a really good lunch. I might actually go and finish the rest of that energy drink. I never have caffeine except around exam times. Don't drink coffee, don't drink tea, not even soft drink. And then I'll go and get my desk set up and get ready to sit the exam. So I've got my setup all worked out and there's just under an hour left until the exam starts. I've got a bit of an eye twitch going on from the caffeine. I'm buzzing a little bit from caffeine, but I think mostly from nerves. I'm actually feeling a bit nervous for this. <laughs> so I just finished my first station, which is multiple choice and I got 16 out of 30. That is the lowest score I've ever got on a med school exam. <laughs> I'm literally devastated. I feel like I put in so much effort and I was actually confident with like most of the answers so I don't know where it's gone wrong. But anyway, I just, I can't dwell on it right now because we have like, I didn't even tell you, we have like a multiple choice station to start with which was like 30 questions, so nothing. And then we have a station where we watch a video and write a report, and then another station where we watch another video and answer questions or something. So can't dwell on it right now, but man, I'm fucking devastated. Okay, I am done. I feel really flustered. Um, I genuinely don't know how that went. It was a bit rough. I can't let it get to me too much. We've still got two OSCEs tomorrow as well. So I might actually head to the library now and get a few more hours of study in. Oh, I don't know, it's like four o'clock. Yeah, fuck it, I'll go. So I just thought I'd come on and have a little chat because the way I'm feeling right now is not helpful, not good for me, and not productive. On the way here, I was just blasting sad songs and really feeling sorry for myself. But you know what? No, because at the end of the day, I mean, A, I passed, so it's not a terrible score, but it's not the end of the world. And B, it's entirely my fault anyway. Like I literally went on a holiday last weekend, so I don't think I have grounds to feel sorry for myself and, you know, wallow in self-pity. So anyway, I was having all of these thoughts while I was driving and then I thought, well, let's make it productive. And so I started thinking like, what are the reasons that I came to medicine for? Why do I want to be a doctor? And and it's because I love communicating with people and I want to help people and I actually love high pressure environments. I know how much of an impact doctors can have on people's lives and I didn't even have a doctor or a GP in my town growing up and that's always been something I've known I want to make a difference with. I've met some incredible people through medicine and had experiences and holidays that I never would have had the opportunity to if I'd pursued a different career and so yeah I was just going through these things in my mind and genuinely I did start to feel better and I do feel better now. At the end of the day it's just a test score, it really doesn't matter. What matters now is that I go into the library and I put everything I have into studying for these last few hours tonight before my live exams tomorrow. Ooh, that was another thing. I do way better in live scenarios, communicating with like real life patients rather than multiple choice exams or written answer. And so tomorrow's going to be good. Tomorrow's going to be great. That's what I'm telling myself. And I don't know, just a little bit of advice if ever you're feeling in a similar way to what I was feeling, just be your own hype man. Time to go. Good morning, day two of testing today. I'm starting in 10 minutes, feeling a bit 
no, I'm not feeling nervous. I'm feeling good, okay? I'm feeling good, but I'm gonna get back to you when I'm done. Oh, I just finished. Actually, I always knew today was gonna go better, but after yesterday, I really like psyched myself out. So I had two stations, two interview stations. The first one was, oh, I was an intern in the emergency department and a lady had presented after drinking alcohol and attempting to take paracetamol overdose after she saw her ex-husband with his mistress. And it was about, I guess, assessing the safety of a patient, taking a psychiatric history. And it went okay. I did end it by saying, no offense, but I hope I don't see you back here anytime soon. And the examiner sort of like looked and I was like oh shit I mean it's what I'd say in real life but in an OSCE probably not and the second station was psychoeducation on schizophrenia talking all about what it is what causes it what the prognosis is like answering questions that the patient may have and I feel like that one went really well even at the end I remembered to add in like oh make sure you know eating good food and exercising regularly and avoiding alcohol and drugs and she sort of like ended, you can, they're not supposed to give you anything back, but you can gauge it a little bit. And she ended with like a little half smirk. So I'm feeling good about that one. And overall, I'm feeling much better today than I was yesterday. And oh my God, I'm done. <laughs> I completely didn't even, <sighs> I'm done psych. I'm on holidays. Oh my God. These revelations just keep getting better. What am I gonna do? You know what? I'd actually love to go shopping. I budget myself hardcore during the semester. Don't buy anything. I don't even go to the shops because like the temptation is there. And, oh, but oh, I really want to go shopping. Oh, this is too exciting. I'm now that it's done and I can relax about it. <sighs> Made it to the shops feels very foreign to be going out and doing something fun and not just studying like I have been the entire week. I've been a little hermit and this is, this is cool. Just having some sushi for lunch and I have a mango passion fruit green tea from Starbucks. I'm meeting my friend on her lunch break in about 20 minutes. I'm home. I thought I'd give you a little haul of what I bought. Don't get too excited, it's nothing extravagant. I got this tracksuit. I also got this super cute dress from Cotton On. Then I just got some basic tank tops. She can never have too many of those. And lastly, these black pants. They're sort of the leather look, but they're not super tight. Anyway, I will catch you back up when I'm ready because I'm going out tonight. Because for the next two hours, literally all I'm going to do is sit here and eat hot crust buns and watch YouTube. Stop! <laughs> Every time. Every time I turn the camera on, that's when you want to talk. I'm on my way out and Casper is being my Uber driver. So thank you for that, babe. Going out for dinner with the girls and then we're actually going to the football and then probably we'll go out afterwards. So exciting times. <laughs> Good morning, it is Saturday and we are on our way to the pub crawl. Didn't end up having a super big night last night, so feeling ready to go. You are, you're my hero. Offensive joke caused Will Smith... Get out! No! He Actually, the best cocktail I've ever had is what is it? Peach and lime lemonade. It's the ladies' picnic. Peach and lime lemonade. Strawberry golf. And something else. And it's fucking incredible. Okay, so it's about 2 o'clock. And I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. We are going to finish off pub golf this afternoon. And then I'm heading into a week of holidays next week. So probably not much vlog worthy. I hope you've enjoyed the roller coaster that was my exam week and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel down below and I will see you next time. Bye!